Uh, where's my book? There it is over there. All right. Well, better pick up my book. It's very important that I take this back book back to uh, the lookout tower. So our goal now, I have to put my book down. Our goal now is to re return to Wapiti Meadow. Yeah, well, we can do that. But uh, we're going to go back to Two Forks Lookout first. Drop off our book. Then um, then we'll see if we can't make our way back to Wapiti Station. This is an interesting little trail here as well. The one, well, just to the east of Wapiti Station there. That one that just kind of ends. I don't think I've been there yet. wonder how that fits in with everything else. Could be where that other cave is that we saw on the two orcs map. And then we've got Thoroughfare Basin marked on our map here. Don't know if we'll ever end up there or not. Alright, so um, we need to get back across the... Uh, we need to get back across. I wonder if, if we w went back to the bridge if he'll say something to her about it like oh my gosh how am I going to get back let's see let's see if he says something I mean I imagine we're supposed to cut down those trees now well, it just says broken bridge I can't cross here all right well let's go down to one of these trees that we saw earlier and um see if we can't uh chop one of them down and make ourselves a makeshift bridge. Drop the book. Chop down. Here we go. It's not really how you use an axe, but that'll work. <laughs> Keep expecting somebody to be behind me. Really doubt that I'm going to have the opportunity to, um, catch anyone behind me in this game. <laughs> I really doubt it. Okay. All right. So, let's run back this way. Are you oh. there? I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed or you are at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? What the fuck was that? Did you just cough? Excuse my language. No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No, not without tapping our radios. What about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to get back to the tower. I actually have goosebumps. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! Man, is my book going to be there? That's all I care about. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. Uh-oh. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? What? Why are you being so weird? Um, why are you so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. She's freaking weird. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, 
Have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, so I, 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 I'm going to have to guess that she's being weird because she knows that we're being listened to. And I need to play along. And where's my book? <laughs> Where is my book, damn it? I, ugh. Where's that book going to be now? I don't see it here anywhere. Last time I did this and this happened, the book was just kind of like floating in place. But I don't see it now. Now I'm worried that it's just gone. <laughs> I wanted to collect the whole collection. All right. <clears throat> we're going to look at that in just a moment. First, we're going to see if there's something new written here. July 16th, 1989. What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell. I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie-talkie and... I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on, like maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck, I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies, too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone, too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. So, I really don't think that we are part of an experiment. And that wasn't really what I was going for when I made that choice when we were talking to her. Um... But, uh, yeah. Huh. Doggone it, where's that book, man? I'm, I'm all concerned about the stupid book. Is it outside? Kind of just, like, floating here somewhere? Don't see it. All right. Turtle's still there. All right. So we are to examine the flora poster. Okay. Let's see, I'm examining it. We've got some shrubs, we got some flowers, and we got some trees. We've got the beautiful blue spruce, the cottonwood, lodgepole pine, the aspen. We've got a birch shrub, an alder shrub, mock orange and sagebrush, prairie fire, fillery, golden aster, and tail cup lupine. All right, I examined it. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great, just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Tree in the top row, sure. second it's from the, the left. Uh... No, you don't need to tell me, just um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree, and there's an area called um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. She's smart. I'm going to report the poster again. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> She's pretty smart. Pretty smart. So where is Cottonwood Creek? Well, there's Cottonwood Creek right down there. We were just there, where the big tree is. All right. So maybe she she's figured out some way for us to contact her there, where we won't be... Uh, eavesdropped on. It's awfully far away from her, though. Yep, I guess that's what we'll do. Let's put on our trusty hat again. I don't know why we can't manage to hang that thing up. It's kind of funny. If I hadn't seen this hat at the starting of the game, remember it was next to our truck when we got here? 
then um, I guess the hat wouldn't be here. I also noticed there's two pegs here. I don't know what what happened to that other hat that we picked up. Remember we were wearing two hats at some point? There's some strange things about this game. Not not very polished in some, some ways. But it's not really that important, I guess. Let's look at the two orcs map again. So, orc pond. Okay, so no mention of the tree here on his little map. And orc pond, I guess, is pork pond. Actually, yeah, this is... He doesn't have anything mentioned at all here. I don't know what's up with Death Mountain. But, um... Yeah, instead of pork pond, it's orc pond. Alright, let's just throw this on the ground. Because that's what we do. Alright, well, let's go to Cottonwood Creek. Man. So, I'm nervous because if somebody is listening in... They may not know where I'm going, but they know where I'm coming from. So I guess these are cinders in the air, maybe, from the fire, right? That's kind of a nice nice touch. It's smoky out here, too. That's neat. And uh, sure enough, the flapjack fire is to the south of us. To Cottonwood Creek we go. Keep an eye out for that tenth book that we were carrying. <laughs> Doggone it. Oh, wait a minute. This is probably the wrong way. Where's the fire? I can't even tell. Let's get out our compass. I want to go this way. I almost took off going in completely the wrong direction. I don't know why I felt like that was south. It just felt south to me. Felt like the way I was supposed to go. So much for my innate sense of direction. Boy, this game is really loading slowly. I um, haven't installed my new solid state drive yet. That does help speed things up quite a bit. Okay, down here we go. I'm nervous, man. I ain't kidding. I'm pretty nervous. Hmm. Wow, this thing is really, really hitching a lot. I'm sorry about that. I know it's probably not very fun to watch. Let's open this up, see if there's anything new in it. Okay, so the same stuff, nothing new in here. Terminal 7's still in there. Lending library, okay. Alright, go through here. So even though this place looks big on the map, it doesn't really take us very long to get from place to place. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I keep hearing rustling. That's kind of a nice touch. So maybe now we will report on the tree. Big tree. Ski. Okay. Where exactly are we supposed to go? Cottonwood Creek. Oh, that's where we are. Um. So, um. We're supposed to contact her. When we get to Cottonwood Creek, and we're we're there, so um, when exactly do we contact her, and from where? Oh, oh, oh! Something. Did you see that? Oh man, just a split second. It's an opportunity to re report on something, but I missed it. What was it? What was it? What was I supposed to report on? Cottonwood Creek. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. 
Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in a rush. Huh. Why did he report where he was? I thought the whole idea was not to say where you were. All right. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Okay, let's open it. Maybe there's a new radio in here. I don't know how she got all the way over here, though. This is really, really far away from where she is. Wait a minute, hold on. There was an opportunity to say something else about the cash. Oh. <laughs> what did you change it to again? I'm blanking. Seriously? It's nerve-wracking out here. <sighs> it's five, six, seven, eight. Which you can also attribute to rack nerves. Alright, let's open this thing up. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Ah, new radio. There's three blind rats as well. New radio. Aha. Let's not let's not say it. I found what you left me. Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. Okay. New radio. Pick up. <laughs> Screw that radio. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Uh... You are in on Whatever this? No. What are doing is illegal, right? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Um, <clears throat> what about the other lookouts? None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. <laughs> so no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Hmm. Um... I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. <laughs> who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Hmm. Huh. I don't think this is all in his head. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okay, that's what we'll do. But first, I'm going to bring this book back <laughs> to uh, to the lookout tower. Come on, of course I'm going to bring this back to the lookout tower. Can't I close this while I'm holding this book? Wait a minute. Cover's ripped on this one. Huh. How about that? I wonder if that has any meaning. Huh. Well, it is uh, time for me to take a break. So, um, let's see. Let's set the book down here. Throw the book down. Look at our map. We come back next time. See, we're here at Cottonwood Creek. Come back next time. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and go north up to the Medicine Wheel. Go back to Two Forks Lookout. Drop off the book. And I see that there's another damaged tree there. I wonder how, how that's important. Hmm. We may take a shortcut up to that, uh, or maybe not a shortcut, but a detour up to that damaged tree to see what happens if we cut it down just for fun. Then we'll go back to Two Forks Lookout, drop off the book, and then um, we'll head over to uh, the gate at Wapiti Station. See if we can get in there. <laughs> I, I really do want to keep playing. 
But um, fortunately, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. I have to work in the morning, and it is late at night, so I need to get some sleep. I'm sure you understand. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sounds like many of you are. I really do appreciate your nice comments. It's really nice hearing from you guys, so thank you for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me nice comments. And if you're not a subscriber, I also thank you for watching, and I ask that uh, maybe you consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.